Hello, Dorita. Good Hello, evening. Teacher. ¿Qué se me había hecho? Ah? Estamos trabajando. Really. really hard. Really hard. Okay. I'm, well, and I know that sometimes work is difficult. Especially. Yeah. What is the most difficult day? ¿Cuál es el día más difícil? Or depends. Uh, uh, fin de mes. Ah, um, okay. Y And lo que pasa hoy es que como no está una persona también, uh -huh. ajá, entonces se ha recargado un poquito. Mm, eso afecta, comprendo, sí. Por eso es que me han dicho que no les deje mucho trabajo este, los viernes, porque dicen que es más Fíjese pesadito. que aprovechando que no tengo, si dejo actividad porque el teléfono no, no lo tengo este día. Ok, ok, no, no problem. Ya vamos a ver, este, te voy a mostrar solo dos actividades para que tomes y Ajá. nota, ok. Sí, por favor. Mientras los demás, bien, la primera... Es esta. Would you like to plan your own funeral? ¿Te gustaría planificar tu propio funeral? Ok, y no es que estés hablando a nadie, o sea, simplemente es una, it's a question. Es una pregunta, ok. Would you like to plan your own funeral? ¿Te gustaría planear o planificar tu propio funeral? Ok, that's the first one. Esa es la primera. Mm -hmm. La And second. The second is, should El Salvador have birth control? ¿Debería tener control de natalidad El Salvador? ¿O debería El Salvador tener control de natalidad? Thank you. You're welcome. So, to start with... I'm sorry. Okay, so hello, ladies. We have Dorita and que andaba de party. Dice andaba de fiesta, bailando cumbiones. And we have Carito. Hello, Carito. Are you at home? Yes, teacher. Oh, you see. Your house or another house? No, in my house, pero mm, mis hijos tienen clases. Uh, my kids have, have classes, okay? Oh, so that's it, that's why. Por eso que te, te mandaron otro lado, why, te castigaron. Ah, ya se me dijeron. Uh, te voy a decir, te voy a decir un, un, ¿cómo se llama? Un dicho que decía mi abuela. A ver. Mi abuela era maldita. Decía, decía, otros vendrán y de, de tu casa tu... te sacarán. Sí. <laughs> Así dice mi abuela también. Así dice. Y es cierto. Sí. Ajá, entonces, bueno. Ni cosas, modo. Cosas de la vida, cosas de la vida. Cosas que pasamos los padres. Yes, yes. Ok, so, nice. Pero me gusta que estés sonriente, activa. Even tomorrow you have to work. Mañana debes de trabajar, pero la vida oh, es bella. Okay. La vida es bella. Ah, lo, sí. lo feo somos nosotros. Ok, so good. <laughs> Andreita, hello, how fancy, qué elegancia lo de Francia. Hi, hi teacher, good hello. evening. Good evening, how was your day? Um, Difficult, normal? Normal. A normal day. Ok, sí. o sea, sí. uh -huh. lo, los fines de mes me dicen que, que les toca agitadito. Todos los, los viernes, los fines de semana. Ah, fines de semana en general. Uh -huh. Ok, va. por eso es que le he dejado tareas chiquititas hoy, no le he dejado tanto. ¿Y se los mandé temprano, André? Sí, teacher. Pues sí, para que vean que va. Ok, so nice to see you, gusto de verte, André. And we have Mercy. Hello, Mercy. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you tonight? Uh, excellent. Excellent. Ok, I like to hear that. So, we're going to start. Vamos a comenzar. So, look on. Okay. So we have. Uh, today is uh, 27. And remember, um, after this class, 
we're having three more classes, just Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then we are uh, finished. Uh, well, we are, we're going to be finishing this course. So if you want to watch the Selecta on Thursday, you can do it, right? Because uh, we're not going to have classes and we're going to wait until the next uh, course. Vamos a esperar hasta el siguiente curso. Y que no estoy seguro de que yo pueda darles ese curso, right? Because we are always changing. Si ustedes son el primer grupo que tuve y que ahora me, me lo dieron de regreso, ¿verdad? Y todo eso. Yo creo que pusieron queja de mí por eso, para castigarlo. No, no pusieron a mí de nuevo. A usted lo castigamos. No, no, no. You are a blessing. O Son sea, mis bendiciones. Yo tenernos a nosotros aquí, pues. Ah, feliz. Yo feliz. Happy. Ah. Yo encantado de la vida. Pues sí. Ajá. Hasta me levanto con más ganas. Bailando me levanto. Ok. So, <laughs> so well, guys, and uh, it's a, uh, well, it's always a pleasure to see you. Here, here we have Carla. Hello, Carlita. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Okay, how are you? Oh. Tired, cansada, cool, relaxed. So relaxed, cool. yeah. Okay, relax. Okay, you need, remember, you need coffee, right, Susie? We all need coffee every time. Even Hi, brother. good evening. <laughs> ya estuvo tu café, tu dosis? Fat coffee. Fat coffee, okay. How is everything? Well, I, I hope it, everything is okay. Espero que todo esté bastante bien. I'm relaxed. Today was a hard day, but tomorrow is my day. Mañana es mi día. So, pretty good. Yes, I have to do a lot of things, but good for me. Okay, Diego. Hello, Diego. Hey, Joe, how are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your I'm day? Pretty good. Pretty good. A little bit busy, but, but okay. But tomorrow you're free, so... It means <laughs> you, you can have do to different be party things. Tomorrow. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. I, have, uh, I have a lot of things to do too, but yeah. I hope to I hope to have a little time to rest. Of course, and remember that even we uh, rest on Sunday, I'm pretty sure that you all you have things to do. Pero aunque descansemos domingo, siempre hay cosas que hacer. Right, Andreita, right, so see. Always. Okay, Carita nos va a mostrar, hay como que es tutorial. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, to start. <laughs> okay. Uh, the topic or the content for today's class is how to use Google Light 2. Es ya lo conocen bastante bien. So we're going just to, well, uh, to reinforce this topic because you already know how, how to use well uh, uh, the, the, this uh wow well, this topic this grammar structure so to get into the class uh first of all i'm going to present you an interesting interesting phrases so here we have phrases for describing relationships okay para describir relaciones, and that's something really interesting, right? So here we have, I'm single, si están solteros. I'm with someone, si están con alguien, y eso aplica también pues si están acompañados. Sometimes people uh, don't like to get married, and it depends on, depends on every single person, right? It is not an obligation. Well, in the past, I guess it was. Creo que en el pasado sí era. But nowadays, I, I guess it is not. At least not in most of the cases. Okay. So we have, I'm single, estoy soltero. I'm with someone, estoy con alguien. I'm dating someone. We're dating. Si están saliendo con alguien. Remember that date, it's citas. Okay. Si están saliendo con alguien. I'm dating someone. Or si les pregunto los dos. Uh, are you friends? No, we are dating. Estamos saliendo. Okay. We're engaged. O pueden decir, I am engaged. So, you're going to get married. O sea, que ustedes ya tienen el lazo ya en el cuello. Okay? So, you're going to get married. Uh, you are about to. Están como comprometidos. Okay? So, that, 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 that's the thing. Están comprometidos. We are engaged. Miren cómo lo están anotando, Andreita. Merci. Take notes. 
Ok, I'm married significa estoy feliz, right? I'm married significa estoy casado, ok? I've been married for, in the case uh, you have like 10 years of marriage, five years of ma marriage, it's an expression to, to say, uh, I've been married for 10 years, five years, three years, he estado casado por tantos años, I'm divorced, ok? So in the case you are, you are, here you are married, you're, you're happy and here you are happier. So that's the point. I'm getting divorced. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting divorced. Es como que si ustedes se van a separar, okay? Cosa que muchas, muchas personas dicen, ah, ya no vamos a separar, estamos juntos por los niños, right? So I'm getting divorced. Es eh, la vieja confiable sometimes, right? So it's when you are behind a step to get divorced, cuando ya están en un paso de divorciarse, okay? Um, here we have also, I'm without, without, con D, D, at the end, without, que eh, como que, pues, una persona que está viuda, en, en, a eso se refiere. Solo widow, es viuda, ¿verdad? Pero I'm without, uh, se refiere a eso, a que ha enviudado. I'm not looking for anything serious. Esto es algo que los hombres jamás van a decir, ¿verdad? Pero significa, no estoy buscando algo serio. Ok. So, can you notice, I'm not looking for anything serious. Ok. Um, I'm not quite over my ex. Esto no pasa a los hombres. No, mentira. No he superado mi ex. So, you can say it, take notes, tomen nota. Y a los que no tienen audífonos, les sugiero que se los pongan, no veces que me regañen. So, I'm not quite over my ex. It means that you still love that person. Todavía aman a esa persona. Okay? You cry every night. We're just friends. Cuando me lo van a frenzonear, frenzonear, como dicen. We're just friends. Somos solo amigos. Okay? We broke up. Cortamos. The magic disappeared. The paradise is over. The dream is over. Una canción de Van Halen. So, when you finish that relationship, you can say, uh, we broke up. Um, my relationship is complicated. Mm -hmm. Mi relación es complicada, if you want to say it, okay? So, and I'm interested in, recuerden lo que yo les había dicho, verdad? Interesting, eh, interesante. When a person, eh, or a person or a place, pero interested es interesado o interesada. O sea, estoy interesado o interesada en alguien. Okay, so that's the meaning. Imagine you have a, you have a crush on, on, on someone or you have a, a special friend, so you're interested in, in that person. So, uh, making a review. I'm single, soy soltero. O soltera. I'm with someone, soy con alguien. Uh, I'm dating someone, estoy saliendo con alguien. O we are dating, estamos saliendo. We are engaged, con D al final, engaged. Or uh, it's supposed to, go, well, you're going to get married, se vas a casar, están comprometidos. Eso significa, comprometidos. Bien amarrados. I'm married, estoy casado. I've, I've been married for, I've been married for. He estado casado por tantos años. I'm divorced. Con D al final, divorced. I'm getting divorced, ¿verdad? Me, estoy divorciado o divorciada y aquí me voy a divorciar. Sé que no van a notar eso. Pero. Ok, so here we have I'm widowed, ¿verdad? Como que pues eh, se murió mi pareja, ¿verdad? Viudo o viuda. I'm not looking for anything serious. Eh, no estoy buscando por uh, alguien, por algo serio, ¿verdad? O sea, todo play, todo es play. I'm not quite over my ex. No he superado a mi ex. We're just friends. Somos solo amigos. So we broke up. Um, cortamos, ¿verdad? O nos separamos. My relationship is complicated. Mi relación es complicada. I'm interested in. Estoy interesado en. Y la última que le voy a decir. Fiance significa prometido. So in the case you want to introduce a person, 
For example, Andrea is going to get married. Digamos que Andrea se va a casar. Y nos presenta alguien. Hello, guys. This is Johnny Bravo. He is my fiance. So we're getting married uh, on this, in December. Entonces nos dice que se va a casar. Y todo eso. Entonces, fíjense, prometido. Ok. I don't want you to tell me your real situation. Just tell me one phrase that took your attention. Dígame una que les llamó la atención. No, me, no quiero que me digan, ¿verdad? Ahorita, ¿cómo están, verdad? No, no vamos a estar con casos de la vida real. Just tell me a phrase that took your attention. Ya sea de acá. This way, or this way. Okay, so we're going to start with Susie. That's, you're very serious. ¿Qué seria te pusiste, Susie? La gente. We broke, broke out. Wow, comenzamos con todo. Okay, thank you, Susie. We're going with Mercy and then Diego. Mercy, I can hear you. My relationship is com complicated. Complicated. Podemos decir complicated, pero sugiero que la T la digamos como R. R, no R. Okay. R complicated. Uh -huh. Bueno, okay. vamos con todo. Ah, ok, Diego, vamos de picada ahorita. No, ok, tell me. <laughs> And then, Dorita. Ok, I'm not looking for an, anything serious. Ok, espero que no te escuchen. Ok, nice, Diego. <laughs> Dorita, then we go with Carito. Fiance. Fiance, ok. Así oh. se dice. Mm -hmm. Fiancé. Fiancé. Ok. Carito, and then Edgar. De la otra. La, la otra. otra la, que, la otra que. La otra, la otra. Esa. esa ah, ok. Esa. We're in Gandhi. Engaged. 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 Ok. Esa. We are engaged. Te vas a casar, pues, Carito. Buena ley. Negativo, pero esa me llamó la atención. Ok, but maybe. <laughs> Puede ser uno, uno nunca sabe. Ok, Edgar and then Andrea. I am dating someone. Ok, good. Andrea, then Carla. I'm getting divorced. Divorced. De verdad, Andreita. Di divorced. No, it's not real. It's not real. Ok, maybe next year. Ok, Carla and then Claudia. Eh, la otra, teacher. Ah, no la copiaste. Uh -huh. I, I am not looking for anything serious. serious. Mm -hmm. Anything serious. Okay, good. Claudia, your turn. And after Claudia, we're having Kevin. Okay, uh, fiance. Okay, Kevin, then Marlon. I'm not looking for anything serious. Serious. Good. Hello, Marlon. We're talking about phrases for describing relationships. Okay, okay. So you <laughs> sí, tell me sí. one that <laughs> took your attention. Una que te llamó la atención. And then of course, I, I'm getting divorced. Wow. Te va a dar las orejas. Okay. Good. Ahorita estoy algo lejitos. Sí, va, va, aprovechando. Okay. Y no hay una opción que diga estoy con ella por mis hijos. Esta podría ser. Ya te voy a decir cuál es. Aquí, este, este, cuando es, esta vez es complicado. Es cuando, ajá, cuando duerme en cuarto separado, ajá. That, that's okay. It. Okay, good. Gracias por el tiempo. Okay, you're welcome. Relajo usted. Okay, Dianita. Hello. Hi. Um, Hi. Um, Una que te llama oh, la atención. Quiero ver. Mm. My relationship is complicated. Okay, thank you. Thanks, thanks. So, in any case, you want to express some something related to that, you can say you have like different options, okay, to express that, okay? So, uh, we're going to start with, would you like to plan your own funeral? Here in, in our country, we don't have the culture to talk about death. And it is like really, it is necessary because as Salvadorians, uh, as Salvadorians, we do the things at the last moment. Siempre hacemos todo al último momento, okay? So why not talk about 
our desires or our wishes, how would we like, uh, uh, we would like to have our funeral. Okay, it's like, it's not a sin to talk about it. No pecado hablar sobre eso, right? So we can express something. If in your case, you would like to talk about it, okay? If not, if you say not, okay, it is not a problem. But first, I'm going to check the attendance list and then we start with this. Ana Mercedes, hello. Present. Thank you, Andrea. Hi, teacher. Hello, Carmen. Oh, uh, no, Carmen uh, is not here. Uh, Claudia. Present. Thank you, Carito. Present. Good. And uh, I don't know if Christian Alberto is here. No, I guess no. Okay, Alex. No, Alex, neither. Diana. Hello, Dianita. Mm, good evening. <laughs> okay, good evening. Diego. Present teacher. Nice. Dora. Present. Good. Edgar. Present. Nice. Helen, I guess Helen is walking, maybe. Present. Okay, thank you, Helen. Me avisa cuando estés en casa, oíste, Helen. Please, please. Okay. Thank you. Carla. Present. Nice. Kevin. Present. Good. Um, Marlon. Present. Thank you very much. And Susie. Present. Okay, because Veronica, I, I have not seen Veronica. So to this uh, topic, I would like to have as the first participant, if she's ready, Claudia. Are you ready with this topic, Claudia? Or do you need more time? Okay, more time. And um, what yes. about if we listen to Kevin? Ready, Kevin? Or you need some time. Okay. Uh, what about Edgar? Sí, teacher. Ya lo oh. tengo. Okay, my friend. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, punto de vista, verdad? It is no because the truth uh, will be weird only with thinking what is going to happen being already dead. Okay. So in your case, you wouldn't like, okay? Mm -hmm. You say no. Okay, thanks, Edgar. Good. What about Andrea? Andreita? Um, yes, because that is something unpredic unpredictable. Good. And I don't know if that time my family will have the necess necessary money. Okay, the necessary money. Okay, uh, related to money issues, right? It is unpredictable. So it means that you don't know where uh, or when you're going to die. Okay, and that, that is going to be a question for Monday, okay? But yes, the death is unpredictable. So in your case it says, okay, uh, I'm going to, to leave you like at least $1,000. And you can do different things because it is expensive. I don't know if you are aware of that, but funerals and all those processes are, are expensive. They are not cheap, no son baratos, okay? So that's one of the reasons Andrea says yes. Okay, what about Diego? Tell me, Diego, what's your opinion about it? Okay, teacher, I believe... Sorry. Okay, in order to talk about this topic, I have to say that, what a minute. No problem. Lo perdí, acá está. I gotta say, yes, I really would like to plan my own funeral. And the reason is that I don't want sadness in it. I would like to know that my relatives are and friends who are still alive to come to my funeral, they feel happiness to know that I'm living this world to rest in peace at last. I would like for this event to be unforgettable in the way that it is a celebration, a celebration rather than a sad event. 
I want there to be music, food, and a lot of fun with entertaining games. Tequila. I just want to be, <laughs> yes, for sure. I just want to be sure that everybody who comes to my funeral would be happy to have me to have met us and let me go. Besides, I want to choose or I would like chosen a beautiful place in a, a beautiful grave to rest in peace. And definitely, I don't want to be buried in a pet cemetery. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not buried. Okay. Not even in a pet cemetery. Well, uh, you said uh, some good points. For example, uh, it is like a celebration more than a sad moment, right? Because it is very common that people cry. And of course, it is hard when you have to say goodbye to a person you really love. But it is a matter of culture, right? Because in some other cultures, it is different. Even they have like not parties, but they, they can share. They can share food. They can share some drinks and they talk about the person who, is, who passed away. Hablan de esa persona. Uh, they can show some videos, photographs or funny moments. And that's another good uh, form to remember with love to that yes. person. Okay, who's living yes, that. this is what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, good point. Excellent, thank you. Okay, thank you. what about if we'll listen now to Carla. Okay, Carla. Yes, because if me if we manage to live things alright, as we will live, we were friends. Okay, okay, fine. Uh, so uh, it is important that in our funeral we have uh, relatives, we have best friends. Even there are a lot of people that you haven't seen in, in, in years. Hay mucha gente que no ves en años. But when you die, <laughs> uh, they go to visit you. And it should be better to, to meet uh, those friends uh, in person, right? Uh, okay. Uh, Ana Mercedes, are you ready? Mercy? Yes, teacher. Please. Merci. My opinion, yes. Because I will avoid my relatives the step of making decision with little time and under the pressure of a strong emotion cut by grief. Okay, yes. Um, make decisions, it is not easy at that moment. As Mercy says, it is difficult. And it is better if you uh, say some instructions and say, I will like this, 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 right? Because at that moment, people is in shock. Right, están en shock, están como que they don't want to, to decide anything, right? So it is better to have uh, or to uh, have clear instructions, okay? Um, what about um, Claudia? Ya pasaste, verdad, Claudia? I don't know, you need more time. Carito, are you ready? Mm, Carito. No, not ready. Okay. And yes, I'm ready. Yes. So, demole. Demole or demosle. Okay. Demosle. Yeah. Yes, of course. In fact, my family already knows uh, where they have to go for some unforeseen. I'm sorry. It's, uh, creo que el internet está, está lento. Otra vez, could you repeat, please, Carito, again, de nuevo, lo, lo último que dijiste. Uh, for un forensas event. Ah, un forensas event, ok. Uh -huh. Así se pronuncia. Sí, un forensas. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, that, 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 that's good. And it is important uh, to... To have clear all things, okay. Diego says pet cemetery, okay. Ramones, pues, creo que no conozco esa canción. I'm going to listen to it. No me lo puedo. I'm going to listen. Really, to you? No, está pensando en cemetery gates. Okay, pero I'm ah, going to listen to it. Mucho mejor también. Okay, <laughs> yes. You don't want to be buried. <laughs> okay, Marlon. 
Tell me now, my friend. Of course, teacher. Um, I think I would like to plan my funeral too, uh, because I want to avoid uh, uh, some complications to my, my family. In in that occasions, uh, when you die, uh, like you said before, teacher, uh, there is some some things uh, some that uh, esos trámites. Yeah, those, those processes. Mm -hmm. Those processes are some complicated and are some expensive, and I think we can help our 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 family to our avoid family. Uh, to avoid that complications. Okay. Okay, we have uh, talking about Marlon's opinion. Uh, in Salvador, insurance are not insurances are not so common. Talking about funerals or talking about uh, like uh, what can we plan if we die, right? Acerca de los seguros, los seguros de vida, and we are not accustomed. We are not used to. No estamos acostumbrados, right? So right. We say, okay, at the end, my family is going to, to what? To have my funeral as they want, pero podemos ayudar un poco. We can help our family, okay? Because it, it, is, a, it is a heavy moment, okay? Thank you, Marlon. And what about Susie? Tell me, Susie, what's your opinion about this? Okay, if I would, it would actually be for the best. Being able to choose your coffee the the details and even more maybe where you would be buried buried the pronunciation buried 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 mm -hmm. after all in if in life you choose and plan everything for yourself why not do it when the time is right okay okay and and it it is something as uh, Susie said there are a lot of details. That maybe you would like to have like instructions, dar como indicaciones. Tequila, que whisky, que de todo lo que quieras. Ah, y Susi, por favor, no me deje entrar a esta persona. Ahora, ¿quién ni se acerque, va? Ok. So, por yes. Por supuesto, va a estar la lista ahí. <laughs> ya, ahí vamos a estar nosotros, dice. Ok. So, uh, in Mexico, they have like, uh, they celebrate, right? The Day of the Dead. And even they, they what? They present some food, some tequila to the grave, a la, a las, a las, ¿cómo se llama? A las tumbas. And it is kind of celebration. So it is good to remember people, remember our friends or relatives with love, okay? Not in a sad way, but uh, it is better to remember the good moments and, and memories that we have about him or about her. Okay, we're going to continue later. So um, we're going to practice a short conversation um, of wood, okay? So in this case, I will present to you, um, let me see. This is an old conversation that we started in advance. La estudiamos eh, pues, por adelantado el curso pasado. Maybe some of you remember this conversation. We're going to practice uh, one and two, okay? So here we have, um, I don't think we have problems with this, conversation one and two. I think it is easy. So I will need some of you to help me read it, okay? So for number one, uh, for man, I will, need Kevin's help, you're going to be the man. And for woman, it's going to be Dorita, okay? Dorita, you're the woman. Kevin, you're the man. Please, go ahead, Kevin. What do you want to do in the future? I'd like to be a chef. I want to have my own restaurant. What kind? I know. What kind of food will you like to cook? It like cook Greek food. Oh, if you do that, I want to eat there. 
It's like that. Okay, thank you. Uh, aquí, Dorita, es I'd, I'd, okay? I'd like that, I'd, okay. I'd like that. Excellent, perfect. Okay, I will need Mercy and Edgar. Please, Edgar, you're going to be the man, and Mercy, you're going to be the woman. So, uh, you start, Edgar. Who would you like? Okay. Who would you like to meet someday? someday? I would like to meet the gate. What, what would you ask him? I ask him about his life. He, I, I want, want to know his secret to success. 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 He'd like to know that too. That, that would be wonderful. Okay, that would that would be wonderful. Y esto, Edgar, es I'd, ok? I'd, 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 ¿verdad? Aquí, acuérdense, por eso he puesto esta conversación, porque tenemos que practicar bastante el I'd, ok? I'd, mm -hmm. okay. I'd, ok. So, I will need you to have a screenshot of this. Eh, voy a necesitar que tengan una captura de pantalla de eso, porque solo vamos a practicar estas dos para mientras. And remember, own, my own restaurant. Hay una canción de Freddie Mercury que se llama Living on my own, own, muy buena, ¿verdad? En el caso de own, own, esto es Greek, Greek, okay, secrets como Victoria's Secret, y este es success, okay, success. Okay, now we're going to have a, a practice, and I will, uh, I'm going to, to create the, the first, so you can check the conversation, and it's going to be really easy and quick. Okay, what do you want to do in the future? I, así sería, I like to be a chef. Mm -hmm. I want to have my own restaurant. Okay, what kind of food would you like to cook? I like to cook great food. Okay, oh, if, if you do that, I want to be no, I want to eat there. I like that. Okay. 
And who would you like to meet someday? I would like to meet Bill. Yes, it's real. Okay. Like that. Okay. Who would you like to meet someday? I'd like to ask him about his life. I want to know his secret or to. I like to be a chef. I want to have a, my own restaurant. The future. I'd like to be a chef. I want to have my own. Okay. I like. Secret. No, guys, everything okay? Todo bien? Okay, see, sí, yes. Okay, good. I. Eh, solo como se pronuncia esta donde dice ah, la, la I y la D. Ay, ay, como ay y luego la D. Ay. Ay. Like to go now. That too. That will be. Este. Hola, ¿todo bien? Eh, miren la conversación 2, la pronunciación de me, la, las tres. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Las tres líneas. La, de, la, de. No, la tercera dice, what, what. Okay. No, para, para mí, este, la segunda conversación. Ok, diría así, mira. Uh -huh. Who would you like to meet someday? Who would you like to meet someday? Who, who qué? Who, como good, como good morning. Who, who would. Who would. Who would you like? Con D. Sí, con D, como que digas good morning, pero sin el morning, solo good. Who, who would you like? La segunda. Um, what would you like? Perdón, what would you ask him? What good, what good you ask him? Bien. What would you ask him? Uh -huh. Y la tercera, I like to know that too. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. ¿Todo bien? Yes. Ok, yes. perfect. Gracias. You're welcome. Vaya, empiezo yo. Bien. What do you want to... Ok, guys, mientras, eh, mientras esperamos los demás, aquí tenemos. Eh, vamos a revisar estos, así que si Edgar me ayuda con los primeros. One, two, three, and four, Edgar. New software. Eh, solo a repetirlos. Yes. Ok, new software, no internet access, uh, a virus, uh, deleted files. Thank you. Susie, could you help me with one, two, three, four? Paper stock in printer. Eh, ah. Perdón, teacher, no entendí. Solo leerme esos. One, two, three. Ok. Four. Paper stop in printer, USB ports of order, funny noisy in the CPU, eh, frozen screen. Thank you. Ok, uh, let's see, Andreita, what is stock? Do you remember what stock is in, in Spanish? Esa cara me llega. <laughs> Lo copié. 
pero no me acuerdo dónde. ¿Y tu corazón? ¿Qué dice? Dice... Eh, ah, aparecer. Mm, aparecer. Sí. No, parecer. No, 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 no es tú. Es como que, como que se traba, como cuando... Al, ajá, algo así. Sí, amarlo en la otra palabra. So, yes. Eh, yes. Sim significa parecer. Parecer, ok. No me estoy inventando. Ok. So, here we have some options. Uh, of what uh, maybe we could have problems, right? At, at the office or at work. Okay? We have also, just to remember you, yesterday we studied ways to report a problem and common issues to report. Okay, let's ask to Marlo. Marlo, do you remember what is issues? Yes, teacher, it, it is problemas. Yeah, yes. It has different definitions, but one of the first one is problems, okay? So here we have uh, this one. So, um, Kevin, would you like, please, to read this and this, okay? This and this, please, Kevin. I would like to report a problem. Mm -hmm. It does not seem to work. Uh -huh. It does not seem to work. Thank you, That's okay. Thank you, Mercy, next. I would like report an, an issue. An I issue. Mm -hmm. I make a strange funny noise. It makes, yeah, it, it makes, makes a strange funny noise. Okay, Diego, could you help me with this? The last one, please. Okay, Diego, yes, I have this and this one. Sorry, teacher. No problem. I have trouble with, it does not turn on. Okay, Diego, do you remember what is trouble? Yes, it's the same that the issue. Yes, similar. It's like a problem, of course, easy cheesy. Okay, so for this, I remember that you, uh, well, you did uh, a similar activity yesterday. So we have to write an item. Debemos de escribir un, un cualquier eh, herramienta o algo que ustedes tengan, ya sea computer, uh, stapler, uh, like marker, price marker, me dijeron, me parece ayer. Y las, una, un problema, no es necesario que escriban tres por cada uno, no, just one, ok? Three items and a possible problem. Un problema que sea, pues, que se pueda dar con ese item con esa herramienta, with, with that tool that maybe you could uh, have at work. Okay, I'm going to be, I'm going to give you like two minutes, so that I can dos minutos para completar eso, okay? Okay, we're going to start with some of you. Let's see, Edgar, are you ready? With, could you mention two items? Puedes mencionarme dos. Ahorita solamente uno tengo. Okay, I'm going to give you uh, like more time. Okay. No problem. And what if uh, Diego or Carito? Okay. Teacher, my I miss my headset. The possible problems are I can't hear anything. The second one is its USB port is out of order. Mm -hmm. 
And number three, clients don't hear me. Okay, perfect. And what is the second item that you have besides the, the headset? Yeah, could it be the, the my computer? Okay. Okay, and the first travel can be my VPN. My VPN gets unplugged. Mm -hmm. The second one is the screen getting froze okay. or freeze. Mm -hmm. In the third one, I don't know. It doesn't work well. Okay, good. Thank you. What about Carito? Are you ready? And the Anita then? Yes, I am ready. Go ahead. Y siempre lo voy a decir item. Dos, dos item y, y solo una posible solución, de, posible problema de cada uno. Possible problem. Okay. Okay, first, uh, price market, mm -hmm. possible problems, uh, stroke at the moment. Okay. Item two, uh, the printer, possible uh, problems, run out of, of ink. In item three, uh, the cell phone, uh, possible problems, no internet access. Okay, no internet access, thank you. Diana, and then Mercy. Okay, um, item, uh, the, pre the price market, and um, possible problems, uh, stock with the bullets. Bullet uh, stick, uh-huh. Um, Second, the elevator. And okay. possible problems, no turn on. Okay, uh, thank you. Three? Uh, solo, dos eran verdad. Okay, three. Uh, <laughs> the internet. Um, possible problems, not seem to work. Okay, thank you. Merci, and then we're going with Marlon. Okay, merci, you tell me. A printing machine. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo era traba? Stock. Stop. Stop the sheet to print. Mm -hmm. Possible problem. Number, num, number dos, contumer. Sometimes okay. totals, another round total. Thank you. Good. Marlon, and then we're going with Kevin. Okay. And uh, printer. When paper stocks, picture. okay, stuck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with the computer, and when I when it has a frozen screen, and with the mouse, when for example, if the right button doesn't work, ah, okay, it can be the one problem about one pro okay, everything. okay. Perfect, Mark. Yes, and that, that is uh, something that is a big problem with the mouse is not working one bottom. Okay, thank you. Kevin and then Edgar. Okay. I have, I have problems with my computer. The camera does not work. Okay. I would like to report on usually with my printer. The paper is stuck. Okay, thank you. Perfect. Uh, computer and printer. Edgar and then Susie. Okay. Uh, the iron is my computer. Uh, possible problem gets very hot. Okay. Uh, iron to my USB. Uh, possible problem forward slide. Mm -hmm. uh, and 30, 30 iron my air conditioning. Uh, possible item stop freezing. Okay, yes, air conditioner. Okay, that's a problem when you have windows, especially. Okay, thank you, Edgar. Susie, and then we we'll go with Andrea. Okay, item one, price market. A uh, possi possible problem, it is stuck in the mummy. Uh, number two, enterprise number, a possible problem, it is not access internet, or is the revenge teacher? Internet no, access. no access to internet. That's a pretty asset. Okay. Okay. Uh, number three, elevator. A uh, possible problem. It is a strange noise. Well, strange noise. Okay. Thank you. Andrea, and then we're going uh, with Carol. Okay. Number one, print paper stock. 
Number two, cell phone does not turn on. And number three, elevator makes a strange noise. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's dangerous. It's a peligroso. Eso. Okay, uh, Carito, and after Carito, we're having Dora. Teacher. Ya pasé. I'm sorry, uh, Dorita, <laughs> and then Claudia. Ah, pues la otra Claudia. For a copier. For a copier, uh huh. The photo, the photocopier dance mm, no cop. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the photocopy machine uh, doesn't work. No trabaja, no funciona. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, good, Dorita. Claudia and then Helen. Okay, the printing machine. Possible problem, the printing is not res responding. Okay, no responding. Uh, computer, mm, the computer does not turn on. Okay, does not turn on. Thank you, Helen and Carla. Uh, inter, possible problem, I can not work. Mm -hmm. uh, printer machine. A possible problem, no int. No int. Okay, thank you. Carla and Alex to finish. Hola, are you ready? Okay, Helen. Okay, I think maybe yes. Are you ready, Helen? Ya pasé, teacher. I'm sorry, Carla. Era, Alex era el siguiente, pero no sé si está listo. Alex. Ok. Yes, yes, yes. Ok, my friend, tell me. The internet is slow. Possible problem. It's day. It's day time to load the program. Programas. Ok, eh, y ok. The keyboard does not work. Okay. Uh, possible problem, send an email wrong. Okay, thank you, Alex. Very good. Okay, now we're having um, Diana's opinion about would you like to plan your own funeral? Diana, are you ready? Okay. Please. I agree. If I would be like to leave everything ready because it is difficult to leave those expense or debts to my family. Yes, definitely. Money is important and instructions, okay? And it is uh, very negative when all the family have not only the problem of your debt, but also uh, economic difficulties. Okay, thank you, Diana. Uh, to finish this, Kevin, are you ready? And then Dora. Yes, you. Please. For me, it is important to plan a funeral. We know that is something that is going to happen. And I think that we should invest money when the day arrives. Yes, invest money in that. that that's another good point. Thank you. Okay, uh, Dora and then Claudia. My opinion is yes, so as not to leave too many inconveniences to others. No, for not leaving inconvenience to others. Thank you. Helen, are you ready? Yes. Please. It's that moment we don't have the hill, hill to drink about her is process, processos, no sé si así se dice. Yeah, pro, processes. Processes, it will be good to up for a funeral. Insurances, eh, seguro, no sé okay, si así. Yes, insurances. Mm -hmm. Insurances. Okay, thank you. Claudia. Okay, my opinion is that yes, because that way my relatives, well, do not have to worry 
I think this is important because we do not know when we call the dia. Thank you. Good point. Excellent opinion. Thank you, Claudia. Now uh, we're having this conversation. Please uh, take a look at this. You have Mike and Maria. Okay, take a look and I'm going to ask you in a moment. What words you remember? Okay, we're having the first uh, Susie and then Marlo. Okay, uh, hello, Maria. Uh, uh, this is Mike. <laughs> okay, good, Susie. Uh, Marlo, and then we're having um, Kevin. I want to report the problem with my printer. Mm -hmm. Nice. And here we have who's next? Can you see here? Okay. Okay, then Claudia. Mm -hmm. Mike Hernandez, I see the form. Okay, good. Claudia, then Diana. Uh, the print report, hello, my hello, Maria. No, this Maria. Okay, uh, sería, this is. Ajá, this, this is. sorry, this Maria. The C, Claudia, this is, this is. This is. Ah, yes, so that's it. Thank you. Diana and then Carla. I remember it doesn't to seem to work, pero la otra parte no me acuerdo. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Carla, then um, Alex. It don't seem mm -hmm. Mike, making, making a stream okay. or like you. Thank you. Alex and then Dorita. Uh, I see, I'll be there right away. Okay, thank you. Dorita and then Diego. What is the problem? Mm -hmm. Okay, Diego, you go. Okay, I would like you to come soon to check it. Yes, that's a good price. Okay, now we go with Carito. Any other? Making and strange noisy. Strange noise. Thank you. Marlo, do you have another word? Um, uh, I más o menos recuerdo que hay una frase que decía, um, do you have a message for the panel of control? Or like así. Okay. Okay. Let's compare. Vamos a comparar. Thank you. Here we have a conversation between Mike and Maria. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. Accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it is making a strange noise. ¿Sabe qué sonido extraño hace? Pues, esa impresora. Is there a message in the control panel? Hay un mensaje en el panel de control. Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error bottom. Would you like to come soon to check it? I see. I'll be there right away. ¿Verdad? Entonces, aquí que dice que hay un, una luz roja, ¿verdad? En el botón de error. Y le dice que vaya de regreso. Y le dice, sí, ya veo. Voy enseguida, ¿ok? My friends, I'm going to... Well, vamos a trabajar con las mismas parejas. Please, I need to have a screenshot, please. Necesito que tenga una captura de pantalla. Vamos a practicar con esto y después seguimos con una actividad diferente. Ok, ya tenemos pues los equipos, entonces vamos a, pues como recuerden, vamos a hacerlo dos veces, ¿verdad? Intercambiamos dos veces. See you in a moment.
is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my print printer. What is the problem, Ms. Ochoa? I doesn't seem to be working and it is making a strange noise. Is there a message in the control panel? Yes, it says. Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. Sigan, hombre, Mike. sigan ustedes. <laughs> Estamos de... hablando de los que hacen trampa, teacher. Cuando usted pregunta. Ah, ¿de qué están hablando? De los que hacen trampa. <risa> los que hacen trampa. Yo, no, realmente yo le digo a, a, a Andrea que yo tengo el, el PDF acá, el, 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 el manual, pero, pero cuando hay que hacer el, el scanning, realmente, pues, el, el, el trato, de, trato de no hacer trampa. Pues. Es que realmente, es, es, bueno. Mira, es, es importante ser honesto. Ya. Sí, sí, sí. Si no se, ya, ya, este. se están engañando ¿verdad? la gente que está bueno que quiere seguir engañando ¿verdad? pero lo que yo quiero es que desarrollen esa verdad esa capacidad sí sí, para sí. Yo, y yo entiendo que también esa es una técnica pues que, que no es por algo no se la pone usted para que para que la hagamos pues. y si se dan cuenta siempre estoy incidiendo en eso ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, por eso ustedes eh, bueno si, si si ven los demás les cuesta seguir indicaciones un poquito Sí, le cuesta un poquito, ajá, entonces es diferente que ustedes ya están buzos. Sí. Es que como ya estuvimos juntos el módulo pasado, teacher, ya estamos acostumbrados así como ya trabajo. Ya aburrido, va. Sí. No. Sí. sí. Ey, de mentira, es mentira. Sí, fíjense le, que... Le dijo ahí la, la Andreita que ya lo aburrió. Dice. Sí, esta Andreita es mala. No, está buena Andreita, sí, te queremos, no, que seas mala. No, teacher, ya le vamos a mandar a Marlon en el video de, de, de hace días. ¿Cuál video? ¿Cuál? El de ah. la señora, no se acuerda. Ay, que me lo mandé. Ahí se la mandé. Sí. Esta Andrea tiene otra teacher ahí, hay que te la muestre. ¿eh? Ah, ok. Pachar, ahí lo mandan, por favor. Ah, A lo peor después. Chévere. Vaya, bueno, chido, Mari. Sí. Al final dice. Eh, se equivocaron, se equivocaron en el manual, Carito. Ah, ok, yo, what? Se metió otro. Buen, buen punto, no me había fijado, fíjate. Sí, yo por eso, Mario. Ese era, 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 era el problema con la impresora, entonces. Sí, Mario. La... Bueno. Ahora tú. Ok. Mike Hernández. Ok, a ver si se acuerdan de algunas de las frases que vimos al inicio de la clase. Ok, y cuando hablo de las frases que vimos al inicio de la clase, me, re, me refiero a estas. Ok, maybe you remember some. A ver, sin hacer trampa, aunque algunos pues puedan hacer trampa, pero ustedes sigan su corazón. Ok, so, de esas frases, eh, related to, to relationships, tell me the ones that you remember. Una al menos de las que recuerdan. Carito, comience después Diego. ¿Qué carito? Ay, una que yo recuerde. Eh, ay, se me olvidó. Y leyendo, eh, eh carito, qué barrio. No, se me olvidó cómo me dijo. Eh, 
Ya lo leyó y ve para arriba. Ese no, no lo he leído. Se me olvidó cómo me dijo la otra. Bien, pensalo. Sí, lo voy a pensar. Diego, den Claudia. Ok, we are engaged. Uh -huh. ya, qué romántico salió este Diego, miren. Well. Claudia, <ríe> den mercy. I'm Mary. Ah, uh, no. I am married. Se parece. I am married. <ríe> Andrea me recuerda una cosa que me vio. Ok, I am married. Married. Uh, I am, am married. married. Ok. Bien, mercy. Ok. Después, go. Uh, después va a Susi, de ahí Andrea. Fiancé. 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 como fianza? No, fiancé. Ok. Uh, Susi, de Andrea. I'm with someone. Mm. Mm. Good. Andrea. I'm single. Mm -hmm. Y feliz, happy. Edgar and Marlon. Uh, I'm going to get married. Eh, salió más. <laughs> okay, <laughs> más feliz. Okay, good. Marlon and Kevin. Okay, I'm getting divorced. Y sigue este marro con eso. Es que sí, creo que ya. Lo dije calladito. Ah, acaba de caer. Ok, marro. ¿Qué viene, Diana? Uh, I'm single. Ok, Diana en carito. Que ya lo leyó como tres veces. Um, my relationship is complicated. Y seguimos con la complicada con Diana. Ok, carito en Helen. Ya lo leí, me cuesta pensar. Dele, pues. Es we're engaged. We are, we are engaged. Engaged. Es, vaya, we are engaged. Y que de verdad, pues está comprometida, carito. Es que mm, le da con la misma. Es de ficho. ¿Mm? Es, es ficción. Usted me ah, dijo, recuerde. Ah, yo, es, yo es un bicho, ok. De bueno. <risa> Show our mommy, okay? Why not? Why not? No. You are free to do it. So, libre, mujer. Okay, thank you. At the future. Yeah, the future, but also, sí. Show our mommy with a lot of money, ¿ve? Entonces, <laughs> que nadie te detenga. Helen, and then uh, Carla. We are just friends. You are just friends, okay? Carla and Dorita. We work in Upa. Ok, eh, Dora en Alex. With someone. I'm with someone. Ok, Alex. Y no pude ver porque llegando iba de la sala que me, cuando me salí. ¿Y de lo que te acuerdas, Alex? <risa> nada, nada. Nada, ok, ok. Que me gusta la sinceridad. Bien, ya que Susi dice eso, que en el future tenía una amiga. Tengo una amiga que me dice que ella está tendrá sus, ya tiene sus añitos y me dice que con las pensiones ella no va a poder ser sugar mommy y de broma en broma lo dice, pero es en serio las pensiones en eh, Salvador son un tanto complicadas, pero igual, otro día vamos a hablar de eso so, eh, we're having a listening activity, vamos a tener una actividad de listening, and we have a different speech for uh, this moment, así que necesito que pongan please, close attention y vamos a escuchar si pueden anotar, pues adelante. Y si no, pues eh, escuchamos. Luego me comentan, pues, este, qué opinan acerca de eso. What's your opinion about it? My mother's speech. Our mothers are the reason for our existences. Mothers are God's gift to humanity. Our mothers love their children selflessly. There is nothing as pure as a mother's love for their child. My mother is my role model. All mothers are strong since they have carried us for nine months in the womb. Mothers always want what is best for her children. All people who have a mother are lucky. Okay, we're going to listen again. My mother's speech. Our mothers are the reason for our existences. Mothers are God's gift Mothers are God's gift to humanity. All mothers love their children selflessly. There is nothing as pure as a mother's love for their child. 
my mother is my role model. All mothers are strong since they have carried us for nine months in the womb. Mothers always want what is best for her children. All people who have a mother are lucky. Okay, now that we have a clear idea about this uh, speech, let's listen to some of you tell me what words have you identified and we're going to start with Susie. Okay, Susie? Okay, no entendí mucho, pero algunas palabras. Reason for existences. Eh, solo escucho un montón de mothers, children, <laughs> and lucky. <laughs> es que mothers eh, eh, es la palabra clave. Okay, thank you. We're going with Andrea and then uh, Alex. Um, mother speech, mother existences, ser, eh, ser, creo que decía security self, child, her children, most one, mother it get is. Eh, people have a mother is lucky or uh, lucky, algo así. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Andrea. Okay, Alex and Edgar. Which uh, is here, mother for name, had mother, mother say, yes, girl, what's it? Okay, thank you, Edgar, and we're going with Diana. La frase de mí de escuchar algo que decía, mother, there is nothing experience of the shy, mm -hmm. it, mother, only there one. Thank you, Edgar. Okay, Diana, and we're going with. Hello. And the topic is mother, mother, mother. Uh, words uh, or mother, nothing, child, children, or people have a mother, a mother are so lucky for their reason existence. Uh, and my mom is a mother. Thank you. Helen and Dorita. My mother love children is my mother. Okay, good. And Carito and Diego. Okay, and my mother speech sentences, the manager, experience, uh, locking, children, kids, security. Okay, and Diego. Uh, okay, I understand that the, the main idea is about mother mm -hmm. or mother's love. And I can remember when she said the mother always want the best for, for her children or something like this. And who, who don't have his his or her mother is unlucky. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. That, that's like the main point of this. It is mother speech, okay? Other mothers are the reason for our existences. Cabal no decía existence. Existences, como dijo Andrea, me parece. Mothers are God's gift to humanity. Gift, it's similar to present. But present is related to uh, esta relación más que todo un regalo de cumpleaños, a birthday present. Pero gift es un regalo. Aparte de los gift que están en WhatsApp y todo eso, ¿verdad? Pero gift significa regalo, ¿ok? Um, selflessly, selfless es como, self es como, pues mismo, un poco egoísta, pero como dice selfless es desinter desinteresadamente, ¿ok? No hay nada más puro, right? Like mother's love. Yeah. And carry us for nine months. No llevan, no cargan por nueve meses. Mm -hmm. Lose want the best for their children. Siempre quieren lo mejor para sus niños. And all people who have a mother are lucky. Los que tienen mamá, pues todas las personas son, pues tienen mucha suerte. Okay, let's listen again. Let's see here. My mother's speech. Our mothers are the reason for our existences. Mothers are God's gift to humanity. 
or mothers love their children selflessly. There is nothing as pure as a mother's love for their child. My mother is my role model. All mothers are strong since they have carried us for nine months in the womb. Mothers always want what is best for her children. All people who have a mother are lucky. Okay, so thanks. And uh, we have then, should El Salvador have birth control, control de natalidad here in El Salvador? Uh, do you consider it should be possible or it should be necessary? Okay, we're going to start with Kevin. Kevin, are you ready with this? No, teacher. Okay, uh, let's see, Carla, are you ready, Carla, with this question? I can hear you. No te escucho. Okay, you're having problems. Estando problemitas ahorita con eso. Okay, we'll start with Andrea. Okay, Andrea, are you ready? Yes. Please. Okay, yes, because this is how mortality is control controlled. It is identified how large the population is. In my opinion, couples should be instructed to have children that they can really support so the children will have a better quality of life. Okay, yes, good point. And identify, okay, in a palabra, yes, identify. Yes, it should be, well, we will have like more control, okay, for populations. And it is not only for birth control, but also to death, right? And well, nowadays we have a lot of kids, a lot of people in the cell phone. Okay, not taking into account the ones who live uh, in other countries. Imagínese todas las personas que viven en otros países. Que son de El Salvador, de El Salvador y en otros países. Okay. Uh, Diego, and then Mercy. Okay. Uh, yes. Def definitely, we have to make control of it because currently we are already overcrowded. And if we don't have control about the birth, this could be worse in just a few years. So I believe that the government must take part, must take part in ban having more than one child. They should have the obligation to invest in programs about it, to make the people conscious about the population and its consequences. Okay, thank you. Overcrowded, ya no cabemos. Hay una sobrepoblación. If you don't think so, look at the coasters, the buses, and you know, all the traffic, look at the housing. Vean las viviendas, well, uh, there is no, maybe the, there is space, hay espacio, but in the countryside, in some other places, but not the Cuban, urban areas, okay? So, but anyway, too much. But nobody want to live in. in yeah, nobody. Everybody migrates to the center of, of the city because maybe they can uh, have more opportunities or job opportunities. But the life in the center or, or downtown, it is expensive as well, right? Well, but as uh, he said, overcrowded, sobrepoblado, demasiado, porque crowded is lleno. For example, the traffic, uh, the streets are crowded of cars, the coasters or the microbuses or the buses are crowded with people uh, in the morning, as están llenos, but overcrowded is todavía, pues. Yeah, yeah. Even, yeah, so. even to hear the, the traffic nowadays is overcrowded. Yep, yep. Especially in the morning, at night. Wow. It's desperate. Yeah. There are too many the cars. Worst. Too many cars see, here in the suburb. Imagine a lot of cars and now people. Hmm. Okay. So thank you, Diego. Now we go with Mercy, right? And then Helen. Que Helen también sabe bastante este tema. Okay. <laughs> My opinion, no, because in a uh, underdeveloped country, it is impossible to impose morales in poli political laws that you against that nature. No, so you said it is not necessary. Tú dices que no es necesario birth control. Mm, sí, creo que, o sea, 
Existen muchos métodos, pero es bien imposible implicarles una ley. Hay muchos okay, que no yes. hacen conciencia. Ok, talking about law, uh, but there are some countries uh, where they, there is a law. Hay ley sobre eso, right? But it is difficult. It is difficult here to implement or to develop a law. But as uh, the, the other uh, participants said, uh, there could be some promotion, some uh, education programs to, to do this, okay? It's a process, a big process, okay? Es un proceso extenso, right? For instance, China, teacher, I think... They are permitted program... one kid or two kids? Oh, just one kid. Just one, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and that's it. Because, well, they, they are overcrowded. Just a, just a few months ago, they banned to have more than one children. Maybe there was a, a initiative to have more than one. Quizá había una iniciativa, ¿verdad? Para tener más de uno. But no, well, I think it is not, uh, well, it is not a good option, especially here in the country that it is a small one, bien pequeñito. Okay. okay. Nice, nice uh, to remember me or to, uh, to, to mention that example of China. And I think that, well, that is a law, right? Hay una ley ahí. So, well. Yes, exactly. So, uh, in, especially here, we need to be, to have a lot of laws because our education, it is very <laughs> complicated, right? Just imagine the trash on the streets. Imagine the, the traffic, uh, the, the, yeah, the education on the streets. So, well, a lot of things to change. Mucha cosa por cambiar. Okay, nice, nice. Helen. Helen trabaja con esto. No, okay, Helen, tell me. What's your opinion about this? And then uh, we're going with Diana. Uh, our country has no culture or education. A lot is so young. Is curiosity. No sé, curiosidad, no sé si así se dice. Curiosity or curiosity. 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 Uh, have said or at potential. En los anticonceptivos que no los usan. Yes, and they are for free. Right, <laughs> son gratis. Well, some of them, right? The most fast is uh, the question level is not prepared. Yeah. Remember? Remember uh, that our parents are first teacher. Yes. En ocasiones los padres tenemos que ser como los primeros maestros. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's it. Even there are some religions in which they don't believe in, in those things, right? Hay religiones en las que no, no prueban eso, right? So uh, it is a matter of culture, I guess, the culture, education, all those things. Okay. Thank you, Helen. Uh, who's next? Diana, right? And after Diana, we're having um, Marlon. Okay. Yes, I agree because there is overpopulation and sometimes we have more than we can maintain and protect. Maintain and protect. Yes, Diana. Maintain and protect. Yes, Diana. It is not only to, to have kids and send them to school, right? No es solo tener hijos y mandarlos a la escuela. Uh, parents should provide housing, vivienda, medicine, education, mental uh, health, uh, ¿verdad? Uh, más que todo, pues, diferentes tipos de salud, mental, emotional, affection, afecto, okay? Uh, not like in the past that they used to think, well, I'm, we're going to have the kids that God wants. It is not a matter of having those kinds of decisions, right? Nuestros abuelos tenían como 13 a veces, 12. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, they didn't have t television at home, but um, it is, it is well, fortunately, maybe most of them have, like, uh, they, they are good people, afortunadamente, posible, o posiblemente la mayoría son buenas personas, but nowadays it is, uh, it is, well, it is dangerous because a lot of kids, if they don't have food at home or they don't have some support and getting apoyo, they can go 
12 different ways, but you support both caminos, right? Or four to so that's it. Um, thank you, Diana. Uh, Marlo. Of course. I I think it should. Um, because uh, we can see uh, too many families. Uh, they are a couple of, of guys, uh, maybe teenagers, and they are having kids, having children, and they have not, they, they don't have the condition to to give a, a life quality, a good life quality to their children. So I, I think uh, it should. Yes, yes. And life control. Life quality, it is not just money, right? Not just it's money. A, it's about measure, to be measured, ser maduro, to have a like house. Like you said before, med, mental education. Mental education, men, mental health. Men, mental health. Yes, that's uh, it. And metal head, like quite right. <laughs> metal, yes. Why not? Yes. Why not? Yes. It's part of the culture. So, yes. So, teacher, I, I think it shouldn't it shouldn't be. It it would be better for for everyone in our country. It's starting with with the the, the couple of, of guys with with, with the. La, los novios, lo, la pareja, ¿verdad? Yes. Así que, so I think that's a, a good, a good option, and, and it could be a good decision. Yes, definitely, I agree. It's a shame. Es una pena. It's a shame that there are a lot of kids on streets, living on streets. Their parents, uh, they live on the streets, or they are cleaning the the glasses on the car or they are asking for help, they are homeless. Homeless significa la, la, la persona que no tiene hogar. Sí, okay. Claro. okay, so home, there are a lot of homeless kids and they consume a lot of drugs, but they are not, uh, I mean, the, the little ones, me refiero a los pequeñitos, they are, that's not, they are not guilty, no son los culpables de eso, right? It's, it's a matter of adults. It's a question de los adultos, right? Of course. Okay, we're going to continue with this topic in a moment because we have only 25 minutes, 25 minutes, y terminamos. Okay, worksheet. We start with um, talking about would, okay? Entonces tenemos acá would like or would like to. There are like different things because if we say I would like, aquí no va ningún verbo. Solo dicen, por ejemplo, he would like a cup of tea. A él le gustaría una, una taza de café. Pero si decimos, she would like to drink tea, a ella le gustaría beber té. Ok, so cuando le decimos would like to, es porque aquí viene un verbo. Ok, y cuando decimos would like, es un sustantivo, sea comida, sea bebida, sea lo que sea. Ok, es diferente decir, um, Andrea would like, or chat a drink than to say Susana would like to drink tequila. Son dos cosas bien diferentes. Diana want horchata and Susie want other thing. So, Teacher, pero el verbo no se ocupa con la S en tercera persona? Aquí no. Todo lo que tenga esto, mira. Esta es parte de la magia. Cuando lleve would cuando lleve should, cuando lleve could, todos estos son modals. Cuando lleve may, cuando lleve can, I'm sorry. Cuando lleve todos estos, no se, no se modifica. No se le agrega S, ya. Entonces, cuando vean would, should, could, may, can, quiero ver qué más. Ah, cuando lleve must, ¿verdad? Mm, might. Todos estos sirven para modificar y como le digo, son modales, pero no modales de, de, de ser amable, sino que son verbos que, por ejemplo, would le cambia la definición, ¿ve? Like es gustar, pero would like gustaría, ¿verdad? Eh, a ella le gustaría beberte, tomarte, ¿ok? 
Igual aquí, miren, aquí no utilizamos el don't ni el doesn't. Miren, es, eh, utilizamos el not después del would. ¿Ya? Y eso es bien fácil porque es para todos. Igual con el should, utilizaríamos el shouldn't, ¿verdad? Should not. Could igual, couldn't. Uh -huh. May not, cannot, must not, might not. O sea que todos estos, para hacer los negativos, solo le agregamos not. ¿Ya? Para todos, es para todos estos que les acabo de dar. Would, should, could, may, can, must, might. Teacher, también use. ¿Cómo use? Eh, por ejemplo, hay una frase, me acuerdo yo, que decía, you should, we used to be friends, algo así. Ah, pero use. Uh, use. Uh -huh. Use to, pero ese solía. Uh -huh. Es más que todo por el pasado. Podemos ah, decirlo okay. en, el, en, en presente, pero se, sería uses tú. Sí, uses tú, pero es como que ella suele. Uh, Susie uses to drink a todo. Como que, sí, a todo eso. Sí. Como que Susie suele beber a todo, pero no es tan común. Mejor decimos, Susie, eh, Susie often drinks a todo, que es más práctico. Pero en ese que tú dices, used to, es solía. Susana used to drink tequila. Now she drinks coffee. Antes, en su época, en su época, sí, dice, de bachillerato, me imagino, la Susi. Used to drink tequila, but now. ¿Y might? ¿Qué significa? Might. Might es un podría. May es un podría, pero también might es otro que podría, pero es de posibilidad. Como que esto es más posible que pase. Este es podría o puedo. ¿Ya? Y también might. Se puede, pero este es cuando algo ustedes creen que sí, no. It might happen. Eso podría pasar como una posibilidad remota. ¿Ok? Voy a ver si antes de que termine este módulo le voy a dar estos. ¿Verdad? Para que veamos el would, should. Algunos de ustedes ya los conocen. ¿Ok? Recapitulando. Would, should, could. No digo would, should, could. No digo would, should, could. May, can, must, might. Todos lo vamos a hacer negativo con el not. Fácil. No le vamos a agregar tercera persona. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, aquí. He wouldn't like a cup of tea. And she wouldn't like to drink tea. En la question, y para la pregunta, igual. Would he like a cup of tea? A él le gustaría un copa, un, una copa de... Una, copa, una taza de té. Would she like to... Le gustaría, le gustaría ella beber. Y para la respuesta fácil, cualquiera de todos estos con would y para no, sería cual, cualquiera de todos estos pronombres, wouldn't, wouldn't, ok, wouldn't, no es tan complicado, muy bien. Veamos acá qué dice, me va a ayudar acá, mm, uh, Marlon, grammar notes, va con la primera Marlon, and then Andrea, okay. I would like. I would like a cup of tea. Uh, it's more, it's more polite way, way to say I want a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. Si digo I would like a cup of tea, es como me gustaría una taza de, de té. Es como quiero una taza de té. No puedo ir a la casa de Carla y decirle, Carla, me gustaría, ¿verdad? Una un taza de café. Como quiero una taza de café. Carla, me va a echar al chucho ahí. ¿eh? Al dorma, pues sí, porque uno manera polite, amable. Ok, who's next? ¿Quién va siguiente? I would. Me. Eh, and then Diego. Mm -hmm. I would like a cup, cup of tea. Cup, cup, cup. Cup. I would like a cup of tea. Eh, no sé cómo te, se dice eso. Etcétera. Etcétera. Mm -hmm. He is often contracted to I. I'd like a cup of tea in speaking. Cabal, lo que lo mismo que estamos viendo en la conversation. En lugar de decir I would like, decimos I. Uh, the Americans are similar to Salvadorians that we like to pronounce less words. A nosotros nos gusta pronunciar menos palabras o letras. No decimos demosle, decimos demole. ¿Verdad? No decimos esperame, decimos perame. Perame. ¿Verdad? So, Those are parts of contractions. Okay, uh, Diego, and then we're having Carito, the last one. Okay. 
Yes, I would. Is never contracted to. Yes, I'd. Thank you. Vaya, quiero explicar eso. En la respuesta. Uh -huh. Cuando hacemos las respuestas, vaya, por ejemplo, ustedes eh, le preguntan, vaya, le voy a preguntar a Claudia. Claudia, are you married? ¿Está casada? No. No. Muy bien, asustada. Ok, eh, sería acá. <risa> no. I am I not. Don't. Así, así, ah, a, I am. así se dice. Pero si Claudia está casada, diría, en este caso, no sé cómo le paso la compu. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I am. Como una canción de Halloween que dice, Yes, I am the perfect gentleman. Entonces, en este caso, se debe decir, Yes, I am. No se contesta así, ¿ver? No se dice, Yes, I'm. Siempre cuando van a hacer una respuesta corta, Yes, I am. Yes, I do. Yes, I can. Y si es negativa, eh, no, I don't. Ahí se puede decir I don't. Pero normalmente I do not. Yes, I can't or cannot. Pero en este caso, ¿verdad? I wouldn't. A lo que voy es que aquí no van a decir así, ¿ve? Nunca van a decir yes, I. Tienen que decir yes, I would. ¿Ok? Igual, yes, I should. Yes, I could, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a decir Yes, I would ¿Cómo está aquí? ¿Ve? ¿Ve? Yes, I would. Aquí no lo vamos a contra contractar, ¿verdad? Solo cuando estamos expresando una, ¿qué? una oración larga. Ok. Eh, who's the last one? Carito, right? In response. In response to an offer. No, thank you. Is considered more polite than that no, I wouldn't. Muy bien pronunciado y pueden, solo que aquí se dice polite, polite. polite. Okay. More polite. Uh -huh. Entonces, eh, dice en respuesta a alguna oferta, cualquier oferta que les hagan, ustedes pueden decir no, thank you. Es considerada más amable que decir no, I wouldn't. Ok, entonces cuando les, les piden algo, would you like to drink uh, chocolate? Y si a usted no le gusta el chocolate, no, thanks. Fácil, no, thanks, ¿verdad? Would you like to smoke marijuana? No, thanks. Or, but if you want, you can say yes, please. Okay. So in this case, um, we're having some practice. Tenemos alguna práctica acá. I would like. Uh, I will need. Um, Carla, me puedes leer la primera. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. Estoy sediento. Dice. Y eso que es viernes. Okay. I'm thirsty. Mm -hmm. I'm thirsty. I would like. A glass of what water, please. Estoy sediento, dice. Es que es viernes. Me gustaría. Sí, es viernes. Tranquila, Carla, tranquila. <ríe> Me gustaría un vaso de agua, que es lo que yo pido normalmente. A glass of water, please. Ok. Ahora, aquí vamos a utilizar. Eh, si sí, es afirmación, I would like, ¿verdad? I would like. Aquí no va el tú, porque como está viendo un vaso de agua, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos con la siguiente que es pregunta. Yo le voy a ir pasando hacia arriba, ¿verdad? Si ustedes necesitan eh, chequear affirmative, negative, or questions. ¿Ok? So, for uh, the next, we're having... Vamos a ver quién tenga cara de María. Vamos a poner a Kevin. ¿Ok, Kevin? Select one, my friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number one. Mm -hmm. Number six. Number six, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. you? Yes, I. Ajá. Yes, I want. Oh. Eh, estamos con el wood. Mm -hmm. I will. Yes, I... yes. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. ¿Qué? Ticket to Melbourne. Yes, I would. Yes, I would like. A ticket to Melbourne, ok. Si ¿Sí, puedo ayudarte, sí, me gustaría un ticket para Melbourne. Pero si se quieren ir a la campanera, ticket to Campanera, something like that. Ok, we continue with Mercy, ok, Mercy. And then, um, Claudia. Number two. Number two. Sería, would you like? Would you like? Would you like a break? Yes. And the answer? Yes. We would. 
Perfect. ¿Eh? Would you like a... ¿Qué dijiste? A break. Un receso. ¿Te gustaría un receso? ¿A quién? Quisiéramos que nos preguntaran eso en el trabajo. Yes, we would. ¿Verdad? Ok, thank you. Uh, who's next? ¿Quién va al siguiente? Ok, please. Number three. Number three. I don't understand this. this. Understand this. Mm -hmm. I would like yes. some help with my homework. Perfect, Claudia. Ok, now we go with um, Carito and Dora. Number four. Number four. Patrick. Mm. I would like. Vaya. Patrick would like. Patrick se llamaba mi suegro antes. Okay. Patrick would like. No Pat I. Estamos hablando de mi suegro. No, perdón, perdón. Okay. Patrick would like. Uh, go to the supermarket. Okay. She eat milk. Okay. Pero como aquí es un verbo. Would like. Tú. Yes, va por carito Uxa. Sí, sí, yeah, okay. like. Ajá, Good like to go to the supermarket. Thank you. Ok, who's next? ¿Quién va siguiente? Next time, next. Uh, number seven. Number seven, Dorita. My friends. I, my friends would like come to the party next week. Ajá, pero como esto es un verbo, Dorita. Um, my friends would like my friends would like to yes come the party next week to the party next week okay aquí se pronuncia friends friends Dorita. Friends. Friends. friends thank you okay okay Edgar and we go with Marlon uh, number eight yes uh, uh, are you would like to work on Saturdays uh, no mira cómo se hacen las preguntas would Ah, Ajá. Okay. Would you like to work on Saturdays? Yes. No, I would. I would que? No, I would. I would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Okay, sí. Es que nadie quiere trabajar los sábados. Okay, who's next? Marlon and then Andrea. Marlon, I can hear you, my friend. Te quedaste mudo. Del amor, el amor. Number, excuse me. No problem. <laughs> number, number five. Five. Will, will Tom like to come with us? Uh -huh. Yes, he would. Yes, he would. Thank you. Andrea and then Diego. Number 12. 12. I tengo un poquito de dudas, teacher, pero quiero ver. Si Seguí tu corazón, mujer. Come on. Who would, who would like some candy? We would. Vaya, ya ves. Todo sale bien cuando se escucha nuestro corazón. No, mentira. Ok, Diego, and then we're having a uh, Susi. Ok. The number 10. Mm -hmm. Would you like to see a movie? No, I would. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, Susie, and then we're going to wait. Oh, Mercy, creo. Okay, Susie. Okay, number nine. nine. Uh, would you like to see chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? Mm -hmm. Okay, would you like chocolate? Chocolate. Ice cream, chocolate. Como que canción de cumbia, Kings. Chocolate y vanilla ice, como ice, ice, baby. Recuerdan cuando Marlon bailaba bachillerato. <risa> ok, vanilla ice, vanilla. ¿Te acuerdas de esa canción? Me pasó así. Ok, sí, creo que estaba la bailaste en un punto artístico. Ok, Mercy, ya pasaste, Mercy. Yes, no ah, okay. ok, ¿quién me falta? Carito, ya pasó. A ver si Helen. What? What, eh, what would like? Ajá. Tomorrow. 
Cassie, what would you like to do tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Okay, should El Salvador have birth control? Why? Y nos quedan exactamente seven minutes. Seven son of the seven son. So, Carito, what about Carito? Okay. Yes, of course. Since, mm -hmm. they, since there are teenagers, show prepaid. And then sex, sex education class. So that from that again, you have birth, birth, birth control. Come as birth? Birth, birth control. Birth control. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Birth control. Thank you. Okay, education classes or, yeah, sex education classes, yeah, that is, it will be like positive if they are taught in, in a good way. Si son, si son bien ejecutadas, bien enseñadas, ¿verdad? Y todo eso, sí, ¿verdad? Pero no como normalmente lo enseñan los maestros. Okay. Eh, we go with Claudia and then Carla. Ya casi para ir terminando. Okay, my opinion, yes, because mm -hmm. we already have an overpopulation mm -hmm. in our country. Be, besides that po poverty is increasing more and more. Also, there are many babies suffering. Suffering, no sé. Suffering, suffering. Uh, suffering because the parents do not have what they need to care for them. Okay. Them. Okay, thank you. Increasing, increasing and suffering. Thank you, Claudia. Yes, okay. it's true. I think what you say, it's true. Okay, uh, we go with uh, Carla, right? Carla and then Dorita. Um, yes, sometimes the, there is not more ever a population. population. Okay. To control our population. Thank you. Dorita and then Edgar. Is more important education and sexual awareness. Okay, awareness. Okay, yes. Uh, that of course one of the best options is to avoid. Okay, the mejor evitar, right? But uh, there are different forms to teach and to convey an idea. Thank you, Edgar and Kevin, and we finish. Okay, uh, in my uh, in my case is just. Yes, it's true because there is a lot of population in the country has to put a uh, stop so many birds uh, of children in a single family. Yes, there should be like a limit, a limit to say uh, the, the limit is three kids, right? Per family, or I don't know how many, no sé cuántos sugieren ustedes, but or two, I don't know. We have sure. two, right? Maybe. Or one, says Diego. If you want one kid, you uh, can give to that baby the best. Puede darle lo mejor, right? Uh, like uh, you, can, uh, the, you can teach him or her, or you can take him or her to English classes, to sport classes, to artistic classes. Well, a lot of things. A good education, okay? Yes. Thank you. And Kevin and Susie. I think so, but I think this depends depends on the education they receive at home. And I also think that they should teach more in school because many women and more ladies from the age, from the 17 years, como que son las más afectadas. Okay, teenagers, uh -huh. los adolescentes. Mm -hmm. Sí, los adolescentes. Okay, okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, teens by teenagers. Okay, so see, you go. Okay, maybe it would be the most convenient since not all families have monetary and mental stability to have many children. Although material is not everything, but neither do 
children have to come to suffer situation that they do not deserve. Okay, thank you. Yes, I consider as Susie says, it's not only economy, right? It's not only money. No solo se trata de dinero, ¿verdad? But yeah. there are, uh -huh, there are a, a lot of what? A lot of um, things that should be included in education, right? So that's a good point, Susie. I don't know how many kids you have at home, no sé cuántos niños tienen, but I, I consider that you have like one, two, or three. I don't know if you have more, no sé si tienen más. I don't know Dorita or, I don't know, Marlon. Like I think one, two, or four, maybe. Teacher, I have two daughters. You have to- just because when I was younger, <laughs> I was not the same person that I am currently. Okay. <laughs> okay, now you are a better person. You are yes, I currently I have a, another point of view from the life of in, everything. In the past, if you had had this point of view, your decision would be different, right? Yeah. Or maybe, maybe that's it. Okay, so thank you. I will. We would like to. Well, I think we would like to talk about kids, but we're about to finish. Ya vamos a terminar, right? So, uh, let's see, Ana Mercedes. Oh. Present, present. Thank you, Andrea. Present. Thanks, uh, Claudia. Present. Carito, thank you. Hi, here. Hi, Diana. Present. Good, Diego. Present. Good, Dorita. Present. Nice. Edgar. Present. Helen, thank you. Present. Right. Uh, Carla. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Kevin. Present, teacher. Okay. Um, Marlon. Present. Good. Kevin. Present, teacher. Okay. And Susie. Present. Okay, good. Este solo eh, record... Yes? Eh, a mí no me mencionó. Alex, ah, I'm sorry, Alex. <laughs> Pobre Alex. Ok, Alex, I'm sorry. Aquí, 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 aquí. I'm sorry. Ya estás. Solo recordarles dos cosas. El miércoles terminamos la clase y como siempre, bueno, algunos de ustedes ya saben, vamos a tomar una foto para el recuerdo porque cuando con esa Susi ya me ha dado descuento, Andrea me ha dado descuento, ¿verdad? Algún diseño de una casa marro les va a dar 50% de descuento cuando la muestren. So, be ready para que estén listos. Y si pueden, este fin de semana terminen las terminen the homeworks y el final test. Si pueden, para que el lunes, que es difícil, uno va como cadáver al trabajo, no estén tan, con tanto problema. Lunes, martes y miércoles. ¿Ok? Si pueden avanzar, do it. ¿Ok? So, see you. Me parece que eh, ahora... Me, con Ana Mercedes. So the rest. Nos vemos. Okay. Descanse. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. See you. Good night. Okay. Uh, merci. Hola, teacher. Eh, vaya, ahorita. Primero, eh, Mercy, te vas a dar cuenta que estos minutos van a pasar rapidísimos, ni los vas a sentir para comenzar. Segundo, okay. ¿hay algún tema de que te gustaría que reforzáramos parte del vocabulario, conversaciones, gramatical, un tema en específico? Lo podemos hacer en este momento. Ok, bueno, este, sinceramente, teacher, aquí echándole ganas, tratando de no desanimarme y no bloquearme porque sinceramente a mí me cuesta todo. Entonces, sí, Mercy. Ajá, dime. Entonces, este, bueno, por ahorita quizás solo una duda nada más, ¿cuándo usar el tú y el das en, para preguntas? Ok, ok, ok. okay. Vale, te explico de esta manera. Cuando utilizamos el, el do y el das, el tú lo vas a utilizar para I, You, es una historia que te estoy contando. We, y el das lo vas a utilizar para he, she, it. Ok. 
Definitivamente, okay. cuando te pregunte, do you like, ok, cuando te digan eso, entonces, um, vamos a cambiar el color. Ah, no, 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 no. Ok, tenemos acá, eh, si decimos, por ejemplo, do you like milk, te gusta la leche, Ahí estamos preguntando eh, si te gusta la leche. Ahora, si te quieres preguntar que a ellos les gusta la leche, ¿cómo sería, Mercy? Ya no sería, do you like milk, ¿verdad? Sería... Si queremos preguntarle a ellos, sería, do... They. Yes, do they... Ya viste que no cambia mucho. Aquí en la primera preguntamos, ¿te gusta la leche? Y a otra, en la otra preguntamos, ¿les gusta a ellos la leche? Muy bien. Vamos con la otra. ¿Y cuál das? Con la misma. Ahora, Mercy, le quiero preguntar si a él le gusta la leche. Entonces comenzaríamos, ¿das? Sí. Yes. ¿Das sí? Okay. Ahora quiero preguntar a ella. ¿Cómo le puedo preguntar a ella? Vale, digamos que vos tenés visitas en tu casa. Te llegan unas primas que vos no las conoces, te las presentan. Y vos tenés lechita para darles. Entonces, le, quiere, y hay una prima, ¿cómo le, ajá, le vas a preguntar a ella? Le vas a preguntar a tu tía, por ejemplo, mire, a ella le gusta la leche. Esa es, esa es la pregunta. Ahora en inglés sería... Sí. Ahora, ¿Sí? uh -huh. like me. Ahora, ese es con respecto a pregunta. Ahora vamos con lo negativo. Vamos a utilizar. I'm sorry. Vamos a utilizar don. Para los mismos de arriba, mira. Para estos de do, podemos utilizar para I, para you. ¿Qué más, Mercy? ¿Para qué, qué otros? We. Excelente. ¿Y qué otros? We day. Excelente. Ahora, vamos a decir. Tus primos te dicen. A nosotros no nos gusta la leche. Vamos a decir. We. Mm -mm. Mira cuál estamos utilizando. No, no puedo. We don't. We don't. Ajá, we don't. Like. Mira. Uh -huh. Ahora, ¿cómo me dirías tú, Mercy, que a ti no te gusta? A mí no me gusta la leche. ¿Cómo me dirías? I don't like me. Fácil, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Hoy sí. Yes. Bye. Okay. Y algunas preguntas, ¿por qué en vez de don llevan, por ejemplo, are you? Vale, vale. Solo termino de explicarte esto, del dasen, ¿oíste? Y ya, ya te explico eso. Vale, ahora, vamos con el dasen. ¿O lo tenés claro, Mercy? Vale, vamos a dar una repasada. ¿Para qué más vamos a utilizar dasen? Para terceras personas. ¿no? Que son he, she, he, she, he. Bien. Ahora, tú ya sabes que a tu prima no le gusta la leche. ¿Cómo dirías a ella no le gusta la leche? She doesn't, she doesn't like milk. Ya. Ahora, queremos decir que a él no le gusta la leche. Sería... He doesn't like milk. Hay veces que no es tan complicado esto. Está algo sencillo. Vale, sí. muy bien. Ahora ya tenemos claro esas dos cosas. Ahora, ya que tenemos esto, vamos a la otro verbo que vos decís con el are you, ¿verdad? Ahora, quiero que, que captes algo, Mercy. Ahorita estamos utilizando, mira, estamos utilizando verbos. Mira cuál es el verbo. Like, like. ¿ve? Si captas. Yes. Ese es el verbo. Ese es el verbo. Ahora, para el otro, are you? Mm. 
eres una enfermera. Ahora, aquí no estamos utilizando un verbo de acción. Aquí un verbo es like, pero aquí el único verbo es are. No decimos are you like. No decimos are you like. Decimos do you like, ¿verdad? Ahora, are you a nurse? Aquí porque utilizamos el verbo be. Y el verbo be se divide en tres. Am, um, is, are. ¿Ya? Ahora, ¿cómo puedo decir es el doctor? Decimos. Are you a doctor? No, porque estamos hablando de él. You es tú. Ah. Is, is he a doctor? Is he a doctor? Ahora pregúntame a mí. ¿Eres doctor? ¿Cómo me preguntarías? Are you a doctor? La niña ¿Qué viste? Sí. ¿Sabes lo que vamos a hacer, Mercy? Uh -huh. eh, voy a ver si mañana tengo un espacio. Voy a mandar unos links para unas pequeñas evaluaciones que se hacen, que son de 10 preguntas, 15 preguntas, y puedes practicar todas esas estructuras. Ah, ok. ¿Te parece? Sí, excelente. Y este, porque es importante que tú practiques por tu parte, ¿verdad? Aquí uh -huh. no podemos trabajar con tanto eso porque hay varios sí. temas, ¿verdad? Pero yo sí. creo que tú ya le entendés a esto, pero siempre necesitamos darle una media repasada. Sí, porque puede ser que al momento uno se confunda. Es que, es que uno se confunde a veces, uh -huh. sin querer, sin querer. Vaya, uh -huh. ahora, este tema, este tema, más o menos, Percy, hoy sí. Sí, sí, sí. Si quieres tomarle sí. captura de pantalla. Eh, bueno, lo copié ahorita. Ah, ya lo copié, sí, va, qué sí. bien. Yo la historia que le conté a la Nicole. Bien. Entonces, lo que puedo hacer es, es eso, ma mandarles eh, eso para que ustedes practiquen. Ok. Ok. Y sí, lo sí, otro, sí, Mercy, sí, este, sí. bueno, nos queda un minuto. ¿Qué es lo que más te cuesta? En realidad, yo sé que es hay muchas que, cosas, pero ¿qué sí, crees? Es que, es que yo siento de que en el caso mío, pero sí ya sería esfuerzo propio, es deficiencia en vocabulario, uh -huh. pronunciación. Entonces, creo yo que tengo que reforzar un poco el vocabulario, Vaya. significado. Uh -huh. Vaya. Con respecto a eso, Mercy, ¿te das cuenta que yo casi siempre les estoy dando un poquito más de vocabulario? Sí. No sé cómo eran los teachers anteriores o no sé cómo hacer los, los otros teachers, pero a mí me gusta que el vocabulario, el vocabulario que le doy lo apliquen. ¿Y cómo lo van a aplicar? Lo van a aplicar en las preguntas que les hago. Ajá, entonces, sí, porque a veces no sé si lo que me pregunta algo y me quedo así. Pero es que a veces no he entendido lo que me está preguntando. Sí, por eso, uh -huh. si te das cuenta, desde la mañana o en la tarde les mando las preguntas. Uh -huh. Para que ustedes ya tengan preparado, porque no es igual ya uno tener algo preparado lo que va a decir, a decirlo en el yes. momento. Pero eso les ayuda a utilizar otras palabras y que más adelante, el objetivo es que más adelante todas esas preguntas que te hagan así uh -huh. las puedas contestar. Exacto. Ya. Uh -huh. Entonces yo okay. creo que si necesitas Mercy, las palabras que yo le voy dando O que vos escuchas que hacen los compañeros Que yo escribo aquí De las opiniones, anotalas Y empezar a incluirlas En tus respuestas Y te vas a dar cuenta que tu, tu vocabulario Se va a ir incrementando okay. eh, Lo que puedes hacer es buscar El traductor de Google Escribilas Escucharlas Y Practicarlas. Esa es una gran herramienta que antes no teníamos y ahora sí. Ya la tienen todos, todos. Solo una última pregunta. Sí. Con una estructura. Cuando yo digo I am World Pharmacy San Roque, sería Pharmacy San Roque o San Roque Pharmacy. Bien. I work, I work in uh -huh, San Roque Pharmacy. Puede ser de las dos maneras. De las dos maneras. Uh -huh. Okay. Yo lo que sugiero es San Roque Pharmacy. Aunque Roque también Pharmacy. para decir farmacia, la puedes decir así. ¿no? Drugstore. Como droga, pero no es de droga. Pero sí se conoce. Drugstore. Que es Drugstore. farmacia. Obviamente no es tienda de droga. O sea, sí, se conoce. Drugstore o Pharmacy. Porque si vos escuchas, ah, yo work in a drugstore. Y vos, yes. Para que está, es lo que me refiero, que es el mismo significado, pero diferentes palabras. Y es importante utilizarlo. 
Okay, bien, bien, Marcia, entonces, pues hasta aquí terminamos. Fue un gusto siempre ayudarte y ánimo, ¿verdad? Tú puedes. Yo yes. pienso que estás avanzando, ¿verdad? Pero, Primero pero, Dios, teacher. Yo sé que sí, yo sé que sí. Bueno. Ok, gracias. Te me cuidas, goodbye. Adiós, goodbye.